Hey folks, welcome to another challenge with uh, with Blue White playing Modern again this weekend. Mm. I'm gonna try to play with the uh, land binding some more. I know well. Round one is already on the way. Playing against uh, against Vidis Vinifera. Won the die wall. Well, in fact, okay. And it's been so long since I've faced Infect. Hmm. Well, I think we're taking it. <laughs> Damn, second one. Okay, mm. mm. playing Zyg of Triumph uh, this weekend. So... Because there's a good chance we have to play dress down next turn. So I'm gonna play I'm gonna take the headquarters. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm afraid I may go Crusader next turn. Like we could go, maybe, maybe the line is dressed down. And play Solitude for block. And if they go Crusader, we can go Second Solitude. I could just go Dress Down Nothing. I feel like dress down solitude is a maybe is a better line. Like all the pump spell no, I suppose they have the plus four plus four. Okay. Well I'd say that's pretty good. What? Played it during that draw step. Did I see that right? Yeah, I had to stop in that draw step. I 
Yeah, it seems like a mistake. Yeah. In case we play it during the draw step. What? Another missed combat because of it? It's kind of crazy. Okay, so what do we do? I think we play the binding then. Okay, now well, I think we go Solitude Bounce, no, I mean Time Raveler Bounce, oh, is that right? Time Raveler Bounce, no, maybe we keep Time Raveler for next turn and we bounce the Binding, then taking Sparrow's Headquarters instead of uh, yeah, the other combination of triumphs are doing so much better. Yeah, we cannot play binding for one. And my key, yeah, in fact, yeah, <laughs> back in uh, 2011. Hey, Chris Cody, thank you for the sub. Uh, okay, two cards left, apparently two spells. Could also just pass and go cycle a shark typhoon. Basically, they would need another plus four, plus four. Yeah, I think, I think I may like that better, actually. Suppose we go psycho a shark. Oh wait, maybe. Yeah, I think I like psycho a shark. Look here, take two. Damn, third one. Mm. Well, I suppose we go for the dress down line now. Yeah. Yeah, I thought about Solitude as a blocker, but this one is a 2 2, so. Okay, now. I think, yeah, pitching on Solitude. Okay, that looks good. Yes, maybe I should have pitched two. Mm. 
on the Waterloo Bone Sing. Mm. I don't think the binding is good as well. Maybe that's better. Both lines look good. Okay, let's bump the binding. Suppose maybe I should have fetched first. Now we have the dress down. That's damn, and we drew the drawing the fountain here is so bad. <laughs> Winning because they, yeah, because they messed up. I suppose. I think I probably messed up as well, but okay, sure. No, it's good trace down. And block. Yeah, I suppose we could die of uh, regular damage. <laughs> uh, okay, I can just try here. Down a five and... Uh, yeah, I don't think they can win. Except with maybe Crusader. So we need to be careful about that. But we have counter spell for Crusader. So. Okay. Yeah, one uh, hall of Heliod's generosity. Yeah, someone suggested that uh, last weekend. And I thought about it in the past. I felt that maybe it was too cute, but I'm not so sure. So I want to try it. Yeah, I probably did not play this game optimally. But, uh, Well, the opponent certainly did not as well. Uh, okay, so definitely won't dress down number three. Maybe Shark Typhoon, Prismatic Ending, Emperor. Wear Tear, maybe. For Nexus. Yeah, Binding cannot deal with Nexus and this might uh, be a problem, so so what's bad? Moonlight looks bad. I think everything else looks okay. I'm not a fan of Verdict, but because of Crusader, I think we're keeping all three. So what's the worst card? Need to get three. Mm. Maybe no kind of spell. Or maybe wet there uh, actually. Like we have Shark Typhoon for, yeah, I think I like Shark Typhoon better than we are there for dealing with Nexus. And two more cards. I think we're keeping all the white cards because of Solitude, except me, or maybe cut one Emperor. Trim a Deluge, maybe. 
delusion you can't spell What's going on where our opponent like they play the what's the one mana spell that gets plus two plus two on the creature you control or plus four plus four if you play the card in your main phase and somehow they had a stop in their draw step, they played it in their draw step, so it only gave their infect creature plus two plus two instead of plus four plus four. And so they were mad about that and they were so mad that they also skipped through combat entirely that turn. And well. Constantly cut this client. Yeah, I understand. Okay, high work. So, if we don't kill the high work, there's a possibility they will crusader turn two. But since we have dressed down and verdict, I think that's okay. Like we don't want to pitch verdict to solitude here. So, let's just pass. Crusader, yeah, sure. Okay. Fine. Do they have a way around Supreme Verdict? Don't think they do, but... And the question is, when do we play the dress down? Do we take four more? I think we don't take. F well, we take four more. I think go to eight poison. I think I'd rather keep the dress down for post verdict. Yeah, in case there's a second crusader. So I think we're taking four poison and just going Alchemy's oh, charm end of turn, I suppose. In case if it forces us to play the dress down, yeah, let's play the fetch. This way we can go get Zag of Triumph if they force the dress down. Ok, 
Okay, we have three cards in hand. Time to use safekeeping. What is that? Oh yeah, time to use safekeeping. But is that played? I mean, it doesn't pump. So... I don't think people play that. Okay, making it a 6 4. Uh, I guess one thing they could have is. They could have Beseju. Okay, if we go dress down, they go Beseju. Then we lose, but there's not much we can do about that. I mean, if we draw a white card on dress down, technically we can pitch solitude and block. Okay, I'm going to play. Yeah, let's play the dress down here. Oh, Guillemotinu. Comment ça va? Okay, let's hope no Boseju. Okay, no Boseju. Now, well, now we have to play the verdict. Okay, and they don't have double black. What? Choke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's unexpected. When it played beginning of combat to turn off Exalted, but it, this did not matter. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I guess maybe his Leyline Binding making Choke better. Okay, come on, we just need. No, not that. Guess we're playing it. Mm. Yeah, we're playing it. Well, we have another counter spell for the next creature, so I think hopefully this will be enough to bear us time to draw an untapped land. We can also draw binding. Binding kills choke. But sees. Well, we may as well say no. Are we saying no? Yeah, we're saying no. Next, us we have one card in hand. Come on, not like this. Hmm. Game two or three, this is game two.
Does this mean Crusader? Yeah. Damn, one turn too late, right? Damn, it feels bad. Is there anything we can do? I don't think there is. Unbounce credo. No, credo is pro white, yeah. We have seven poison. So. I suppose we could. No, it's yeah, short pass. I think we'll draw two. Feels like the only thing that uh makes sense. But we need to draw Need to draw dress down plus I don't know something else. So what if we say no, then we need to draw dress down. Dress down into what? Now is there any combination of two cards, I suppose? Yeah, let's draw two. So we need dress down and lands probably. No. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so now, well, now that we are there, maybe he's a bit more appealing. Kind of spell is on the play, he's much better as well. Maybe binding isn't that good. It doesn't kill Nexus and it doesn't kill Crusader. Maybe cut one Time Raveler. Time Raveler is. Yeah, Time Raveler is. I think I like counter spell number four. Better than Time Revel, maybe, and I guess then yes. Emperor or Deluge or or maybe a prismatic ending, or is that crazy? No big planeswalker, no. I like Deluge better overall. I feel like we can also lose it if we run out of gas, so... You know, maybe Emperor is not very good, like it's super expensive. 
it doesn't deal with Crusader anyway. I think I'm going to kill the Time Raveler. Mm. Drawing more than one deal really look, looks like drama. That's true. Okay, that's a keep. Which land are we playing first? Well, I think as I go try on. And we may end up cycling the headquarters when deluge is enough. Well, it's enough if we draw it. Yeah, I need to be careful about choke. If we can. Nexus Pass. Okay. Binding. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, I think that's fine. But I think we're playing the binding here and killing the hierarchy actually. Maybe there's some bagging in land. I don't know, should we concentrate on killing their uh, Infect threats. It's close. No, I feel like, given how they played, I think I like killing the high rock here. Maybe they're bottlenecked on mana. Like Stinger. I think I'll let that go. I don't know, maybe that's... I suppose we don't have a lot of spells, so... Okay, here we're saying no. Hey, Olsen.
Yep. Yep, GG's. Mm. Yeah, maybe if was playing the binding a mistake, maybe. Mm. Yeah, I suppose it probably was. No, it was a mistake because like it was just one extra poison. We only had one at the time, so I could have gone up to three and played binding end of turn if they don't have a land. And if they do, we could have cycled the headquarters and keep binding for yeah. Binding was bad. I think if I don't play it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting games though, yeah, always tense against poison, like against burn. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah, that binding was bad. It was worth taking the extra poison. That turn was only the third poison to keep. Uh, our options open until end of turn. Okay. Well, that's... Uh, that puts us at one loss. Not a good start. Yeah, game two felt bad, yeah, losing to that. I mean, when they played Choke, we had double counter spell and two lands. We just needed to draw a land and we could, we could counter the next two creatures. I think we were still uh, yeah, a huge favorite at this point, but well, we still messed up game three. I think in game three, well, I don't know what would have happened if I... Uh, did not make that mistake, but still, yeah, big blunder. Mm. Didn't play like they had a protection spell, just threats, yeah. Well, sometimes, yeah, they don't have protection spells and they have to go all in. I think this was one of these hands. Mm. We'll be playing Pioneer at four. Uh, you mean tomorrow, Mikey? Yeah, I saw the like there's a super qualifier tomorrow. Pioneer. Yeah. Uh, I think I may play it, but uh, not stream it. What's my opinion on Blue X Control X in Pioneer? Um, Feels like they're in a, in a tough place, but the, the low end of the curve is mediocre, maybe. Like if you, if you compare, I would say, card quality between, say, red-black and blue-white in Pioneer, feels like at every spot of the curve red black is playing uh, you know as very efficient cards or card that you would rate they yeah, are much higher than uh, their blue white counterparts at least at the low end of the curve 
So, but maybe that's me, you know. I've seen, uh, I think, who was it? Yeah, Oscar Franco won a challenge two weekends in a row. I think someone took their list exactly and uh, won the super qualifier last weekend. Uh, I would say blue black definitely feels worse than blue white or Esper. But uh, yeah, the, the only, f I mean, the thing blue white is missing the most is a good spot removal, I would say, and uh, an upgrade on sensor is also on the menu. There's a pioneer challenge today, really. Oh, you mean in five hours? Yeah, but uh, no, it's really late for Europe. It. Uh, will finish at down. What's the 25th land? 25th land is a uh, Zeg of Trium. Mm. Yeah, maybe if I only make yeah, two columns. Yeah, I can have everything here. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I thought since uh, since last weekend, I was pretty happy with binding. Feels like it makes sense to play all four, or at least try, see how that goes, and then uh, like playing the fourth. Like last weekend, I had Esper Trium instead of Zag of Trium. And yeah, with four binding, uh, you have even more incentive to play the Zag of Trium because the possibility to to get the domain with only two fetch lands instead of three. I would say if you're playing four binding, it's worth it. So I've cut prismatic ending entirely. I'm sort of playing fire ice instead, which I love. And then, uh, yeah, I made some room for some dress down and moonlights in the main deck, which I would say right now feel like a good medallion call. Like between Creativities and Rhinos, where Moonlight is really, really good, and Hammer and Titan, and sometimes a random matchup like Infect, where Dress Down is super good as well. I think I like this, and I've got the Shark Typhoon to make room for this card, and a Chalice. I would say Chalice is maybe not as good right now because of a decline in Merc Tide. And uh, yeah, the whole of uh, Helios Generosity is also a card I wanted to try. And then I think if we have that, cutting one Typhoon makes sense since uh, Hall is kind of a yeah, late game Typhoon. March isn't worth a slot. Uh, no. Well, n now that we have a Leyline Binding and Prismatic Ending, why would you want to play March? I, mean, I guess, yeah, March is really good against Saga, but the Saga angle we're fighting with Dress Down. Because, yeah, Dress Down is, uh, it just covers more. And as to why we're playing Prismatic Ending instead of March, because I think I've said multiple times, I think March is not a great magic card. It offers you a lose-lose deal. I would say, like, you can either lose tempo or lose cards. 
so it's just never never good unless you're targeting other saga but uh, yeah I want it like personal ending is uh, you, know, you break even on tempo and uh, I wanted to have a card against hammer and this felt like too weird tear I felt like a lot I wanted something that I could also bring against tribal decks like merfolk and goblins Maybe Death Shadow, Burn. I don't think Hall of Heliod is worth it. Maybe, but I wanted to try it. You know, I think it's good to give things a try before you dismiss them. And the other thing that can happen is uh, bringing back Dress Down, which in the Titan matchup, if you have Hall and Dress Down. And you're probably a huge favorite to win. And uh, yeah, I also felt about the four color matchup. I was thinking, well, if, same thing. Yeah, if you have a hole and a typhoon, uh, maybe it's too cute. Maybe it's too mana intensive. But we're trying. Hey, name's a witch, and which she played blue white a week ago, and was mad at people that asked about March. I mean, I think it, it made sense before binding was a thing. Or if you don't want to play binding, you don't want to bend your mana base a little bit to accommodate for binding. So then maybe you play prismatic ending, and then you want a little bit more. You're not a fan of Fire Eyes, or for yeah, some metagame reasons, you think that Urza Saga is really popular, but I think it makes sense to play March. But otherwise, I would say now that we have access to Binding, I think we're going to see even less March. Like Fire Rise of a Prismatic, yep, yeah, that's right. Well, maybe I'm valuing Fire Rise too highly, but uh... hey, Hotashi. Do you think the Urza in Brothers War could find its way into a deck in Modern? I have no idea what you're talking about, Decade. Urza in Brothers War. What is Brothers War? Is that the next set? Has something been spoiled? Hey, that cool kid. Thank you for the continued support. Thoughts on running Bring to Light. With all the colors with splashing. Hmm. Yeah, that's an idea. Hmm. Well, what do we have right now for Bring to Light? Well, in our current incarnation, it's just not good, right? Can get solitude, verdict, deluge doesn't work with it. You cannot get planeswalkers. Mm. 
did you did you think about it at cool Q? like what what would we what would we get with the card basic swamp go mm. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna play the ice. I'll play it ne next turn to get whatever three drop potentially profane tutor. Okay, so we're playing against mono black. Mm. Yeah, I think I'd rather play the charm and draw two cards. And ice one of their lands. Maybe they have Liana. Which we don't really care about, I would say. Like we have two verdict that are pretty bad. Yeah, coffers. Oh, we were thinking thinking about taking planeswalkers with uh with bring to light. Yeah, you cannot do that, so Ad Nauseam, no, probably just, no, Ad Nauseam plays a mana base, that's his, uh, don't think they even play regular Swamp, yeah, cling to dust, that's mono black control. Well, Brothers War, so Brothers War spoiler. Mm. Release date November 18. Okay, so Urza. So 2 4 for 3. Artifact instance sorcery you cast, cost 1 less to cast. And you pay seven if you both own and control Urza and an artifact named Mightstone and Weakstone. Exile them and mail them. And what does this thing do? Five mana artifact enter the battlefield. I will draw two cards. Or target creature gets minus five minus five produces two mana. Well, my first uh, instinct is that it doesn't look like uh, like modern material at first glance. I don't know, 2-4, like 2-4 for 3. I guess Artifact Instant. No, but it, basically, yeah, if we're playing a lot of Instant, Barrel does the same thing. Way better. Mm. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with Deluge. Cause I'm afraid next turn they're gonna have a ton of mana. Mm. I'm gonna just discard a verdict.
I guess we could ice the coffers, but no, I think, I think I'd rather play the deluge. Thought sees. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's six, one, two, three, four, no, five mana. So that's five, six. Yes, we're saying okay. What card would you most enjoy having a retro frame of? Hmm. Taking a binding. Another con maybe. Okay, never thought about that the retro frame of. I guess the dual lands. Yeah, because uh, in Dual Commander, I think my deck is almost all dual lands. I mean, all, all framed cards. And you know, you the Tundra is one of the cards that you're fetching constantly. And uh, yeah, doesn't have an old frame, so I would go for Tundra. Mm. Or maybe Hallowed Fountain, yeah, because of the uh, because of modern. I'm playing Tivit, Angel Commander. Okay, persist on the Archon. I think I'm gonna. Discard a typhoon. Like in case they have another thought seize after the Archon, I don't want to respond by deluge. I'm gonna keep the verdict in case we don't draw an answer. Okay, find binding, solitude. Do we have a way to deal with binding? Probably not, right? I mean, something they can get with corn. Yeah, we're not playing Verdict because they may have another Persist. Oh, are we taking the Solitude? Definitely taking the hall. Are we definitely taking the hall? Well, we have some deluge we can flash back. Maybe, maybe we don't need the hall. We have a cling though. Oh, Invoke Despair. You're right. They usually play Invoke Despair, so binding is risky. Guess we're taking Solitude then? Okay, let's take Solitude and the Hall. play Fenrate, right? No. Six mana. Yep.
and escape the cling probably. Yeah. Kind of has to verdict, right? Okay, if they block, I think we go with fire then. Should we be playing Ephemeric? What do you mean, my key? Oh, bug? Damn. 3,4,5,6,7... And they have exactly enough to activate Golos. Mm. I think we're saving a Typhoon. Oh, I forgot we could bring back the binding as well. Is that better? Yeah, I think is we already have a shark typhoon, but they have cling, so that's why I'm thinking about taking second shark. Okay, we have verdict for that guy. Yeah, I feel like we may need second sh shark, so Okay, I guess I messed up I tapped my mana wrong. <laughs> Probably doesn't matter. I don't think we're going to play Moonlight now. I'm going to keep it up for next turn. Moonlight over Containment Priest because it draws a card. And. Not exactly. Um, Windlight over Containment Priest because uh, the Priest uh, yeah, the, the, the well, obviously, for main deck inclusion, yeah, Moonlight can draw a card, whereas Priest is a. Uh, can end up not doing anything in some matchups. But uh, I was playing Moonlight. I have some Moonlight in the sideboard anyway, so the reason for Moonlight over Priest is. Priest is. doesn't affect tokens, so Priest doesn't work against Rhinos. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, we need to draw something for that archon. I guess we can trade. I could go seven, seven shark. Oh, they got unburial rights too. The thing is, I'm pretty sure what they have in hand. I mean, there's a very good chance they have a failed push in hand. But they haven't been able to play yet. So... Oh yeah, and the other thing that Priest does not do is Priest does not work against Living End because when they play Living End, if you respond by Priest, the Living End resolves, starting by killing your Priest and they bring back all their stuff. So also Moonlight works against Living End, Priest does not. And even against Creativity, like Priest can just get bolted, you know. So, no, you really want Moonlight and not Priest. Uh, okay, we're in a really bad spot here. What's the hope? Like we go 7-7 seven, seven Shark. They don't have a push, so we take 3. They draw another card. Then they go persist on the Golos, and then we need to draw another removal, and they need to break on their Golos activation. That looks uh, I suppose that's the play. Can't make a 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh yeah, you're right. Damn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Can't make a 7-7. Seven, seven. Can make a 6-6, six, six, but not a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, I guess I should I should not have played the land. Okay, so mono black. Yeah, I want more kind of magic. This missile, or miracle, another shark, emperor. We want rest in peace. Maybe chalice. Oh yeah, we want rest in peace. Yeah, they're playing persist and mob grave. So we're getting all the verdict. Do we want chalice? 
I feel like one of Chalice, yeah, it's probably good. Imagine you have four thought seas, four map, at least one cling. Yeah, but it's not like we absolutely want to play Chalice. Okay, so maybe cut Chalice, maybe cut Time Reveler. We have Profane Tutor, which Time Reveler is uh, really good against, but... And then we can trim some of these things. And we want something else. Yes, we could play more Moonlight or more Dress Down. Flame Blitz is also... something we could potentially consider. Yeah, they might, they might cut the graveyard stuff, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna get one time reveler at least. No, I don't think we really want flame blades. Let me get one binding. And one more. Okay, let's get Chalice. Are we stealing the map? Oh, coffers. Oh, yeah, the other bog. Mm. We're gonna have a ton of mana. I guess playing the fetch wasn't the best idea if I wanted to play the ice. Still it grab a Helion. Yeah. I think I'll steal it. And then getting a million mana is a bit scary, so What? Okay. Sweet take. So four or five mana.
the memory do they have multiple persist here and since we have solitude to kill the archon now oh, it feels pretty bad archon hitting play There are five minutes left. Yeah, no, how how can hitting play really feels bad, so I think we're going for double counter spell. But then I think we pass. Yeah. Okay. Probably pass again. Wanna... Yeah, I want to keep the opportunity to play Solitude up. Pushoka bug. Mm, yeah, sure. Pass. Okay, I think I like your uh, shark better than deluge. Okay, not bad. Dress. Mm. Should we cycle a moonlight? Play both moonlight and dress down. Or play nothing. Hey, Yell Stewart, thank you for the sub. Like, if they have another persist, we can just play Dress Down plus Binding anyway, so we can let them have the Moonlight. If they have Archon in hand. I mean, yeah, if we're playing Dresden, we may as, as well play the Moonlight. Yeah, let's do that. We even have binding up. Oh, 
because maybe we are not lethal. But I close sure. So one card left. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Do we want to change anything? No, I really like rest in peace. Yeah, time raveler. Maybe second copy is uh, especially on the draw. It's only good against profane tutor. It's not very good otherwise, so yeah, maybe if we can just keep keep them on. Can bring in another moonlight, dress down, or last binding. Moonlight number three. Kind of want both Moonlight and Dress Down, to be honest. Like both are great. Maybe we just cut Time Raveler. No, one one makes sense. Or maybe it's maybe Emperor is just Basically, it's a clock, and that's it. That's all it is. But, like, if they manage to put Archon or Golos into play, Emperor is not going to be enough anyway. So, maybe cut Emperor, yeah. Play Dress Down and Moonlight. Maybe not having th the last binding is a mistake. What about Vito? I basically only playing creatures or you know, haven't seen any con invoke despair. Maybe Vito is just not very good. Rest in peace seems not so good. Are you serious? Like this game again they had cling to dust and and mock grave with double persist. Like they're basically they have a strong running mate plan, so rest in peace is he's good. Okay, not the best of him, but uh, good enough to keep. Okay, coffers as land number two. So this means no other land, right? Unless they're being they're being tricky. Not taking fire ice. That feels weird. Or maybe they have Urborg in hand. Hmm. Okay, which land are we taking? Maybe we take... 
Yeah, it seems we're gonna play Robo. Okay, let's yeah, let's take Rogan Trium and then. Um, yeah, I think just icing the swamp. Second coffers. Damn, Alchemist's charm would have been so nice. Um, sure. Hey, Dan, thank you for the sub. Dress. Well, I think I have a two, two. At least that that's a miss. Oh, that's a good one. Still no land. Well, okay, okay. Finally, we get. So the binding for the map, that's for sure. And then what? Probably veto. Uh, veto or dress down. No, maybe dress down in case they draw, let's say they draw Urborg. Okay, let's take dress down. Okay, nothing. Okay, we could go Solitude, then grab Kahira, play it. Yeah, Solitude attack for six, put them down to four. It's probably the play. Not coffers tap for colorless, no, that's, yeah, that's the big drawback of the land. Yeah, rough, doesn't produce mana unless you have three swamp, is that it? Yeah, you need three swamp for, like if you have two swamp on a coffers, it still doesn't produce any mana. Yeah, never had two mana. Okay, well, 1-1. One, one. I guess last weekend we started with a loss and still made top 8, so all hope is not lost. But we basically need to win it all. <laughs> well, I think the... the yeah, they made another version of coffers that tap for colorless, but 
one more mana was ne was needed to activate like it was three and tap but the not was the land was not legendary I don't remember the name of the card but uh let's swamp oh yeah that's it cabal stronghold not legendary oh yeah no coffers is not legendary either but uh yeah i can produce colorless but but in the end it was well it, it is coffers is better if you wanna if you're doing that that thing mm. Yeah, model black is usually. I feel like I usually win the matchup, but it's a bit. It feels uncomfortable to play. You know, like they have a nan game that can maybe trump yours. Generating so much mana, playing Eldrazi stuff, and uh, yeah. The deck is based on lands, which uh, at least in this iteration of the deck, I'm not good at dealing with. Mm -hmm. only counts basics is it pain is that only basics oh yeah you're right basic swamp i didn't even realize that as coffers is any swamp right yeah 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 okay so yeah the other land is uh It's really not the same. Why is Hero out in recent lists? Well, I've cut Hero. It's been a while now since I've cut Hero. Um, well, the way I feel about it is that it's simply... doesn't do a good enough job. I mean, can you think of any matchup where you would want to play hero instead of a card we have here? I mean, an expensive card, probably a deluge or a typhoon. Do you think hero would be, would be better than that? Yeah, like where would you want hero exactly? I think against four color, it's good. But I would say that's the only matchup where I really want hero. It's not so much that it's too slow, it's... Well, first of all, it is very expensive, and then... It promise it it promises a lot as in you know if it resolves and st and stick in play yeah it is great but I found that uh, yeah five mana where deluge is only four so it's really hard to resolve and again it's really expensive and against the fair decks they usually have they usually have plenty of ways to deal with it. So maybe maybe it makes more sense to play it if you're playing multiple copies. And also against against a deck like creativity, I've found that I think it's a very high risk, low reward play. Because well, first of all, they're playing like three or four spell pierce, so 
it's not easy to to resolve it and then then if you resolve it then well you 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 tap down three mana on your own turn so this usually creates for them a window to resolve creativity I did not want to draw that. Mm. Oh, I guess we can play it. Cycle the shark another time. What did I get? Caldra. Let's play a try on. Why don't you play Legacy recently? Uh, well, I've been playing less Magic, so... So, yeah, I'm playing mostly Modern and some Pioneer. So can yeah, I cannot play all the formats. Is binding really that good? Feels like it is. Okay, making a token. Yeah, I was also playing around spell pierce and skill. But apparently they don't have it. Or maybe they're hoping to get uh, a drum. So if we want to steal, we need to do it now. I think I like stealing here. Gives them an extra card, but... We have so many problems that... Yeah. Like this stabilizes the board for now. Maybe we can even verdict and, and uh, start attacking. Hero is better with a good instant speed removal like binding, that's true. But still. I mean, the, the problem with Hero is not finding something to do with the two mana it gives you back. It's about it being an expensive sorcery spell. But it's a high risk play. Sort of the meek. Okay, that's unexpected. Hmm. But maybe I'm wrong, yeah, maybe Hero is better now with Binding, maybe the metagame shift where Hero was not good against Murktide. So, decline of Murktide. But we had one last week and uh, it did not perform well, I thought, so... Uh, okay, do we, do we play Verdict? It's not bad, give them a card. Plus, we still have Solitude back up. But, uh, yeah, if they did not get sort of a me, I think maybe I would have played the Verdict, but kind of confused now. We can also just wait a turn. I 
increase wave, it, they won't be able to draw a card. Maybe we cash in and optimize his job in the process. How to not verdict? I don't know, verdict is going to be good next turn. Suppose if we play verdict, we start attacking, which is not nothing. But it gives him a card, so... No, I think we pass. Pass. There's a good chance because of verdict they cannot overextend. Oh, actually, they can do that. Four, five, six, seven. Well, yeah, I probably don't play scale in that list, so I will just take a hit. Yeah, respecting Shock Typhoon. Mm. Yeah, I could go for Shock Typhoon. That's a weird attack. Why not send both Stone Forge then? Guess we can yeah cycle shark typhoon eat one stone forge and keep verdict for later then No, I think I like drawing more. Mm, yeah, I think taking a hit. I want to dig towards bindings, so another stone forge. Okay. Now this makes even even less sense. Nail assist. Untapped land. Okay, three cards left. One of them is sort of the meek. Rosa, okay, makes sense. Damn, that's are we dead?
think that we need to find binding right away. Maybe if we find binding right away, we're not dead. Probably the line. Wait, no convey. No, should I have played solitude in response? Like they have the combo. Well, let's. Yeah, let's start with solitude on Rosa. Oh yeah, no right, yeah, the sword isn't in the graveyard yet. Cast cycle. Here's binding. Well. Oh wait, they can just equip the Thopter. Guess we shock, maybe. Yeah, I could have played this differently. I feel like stealing, yeah, stealing the Caldra was correct. Yeah, but then I'm not so sure. Mm. Okay, so... Blue White Urza. These two, Stony Silence. Dress Down. Maybe Shark Typhoon. Maybe Flame Blitz. Maybe rest in peace for the combo. Okay, let's put it all in. What about Emperor? Maybe Emperor. Okay, definitely don't want the rest. No moonlight. Everything else looks okay. Hmm. Usually cut down on counter spell against hammer, but you're playing against Urza, so you can like counter spell more. Maybe not all four though. Maybe only three. What do we think about rest in peace? I suppose the combo is is a bit scary, but Mm, definitely keeping all these. Maybe not Emperor. Good trim Typhoon. Do we like Chalice? I think we like Chalice. No Moonlight for all the tokens they make. I think his Dress Down is better at killing tokens than Moonlight is. And we can't have it all. No, we're not gonna play the Blitz. No Emperor. Trim a counter spell. Still need to cut three. Guess. Yeah, we can play. 
Every typhoon will be whole. Yeah, we have too many cards. Maybe cut a solitude. Is that right? Okay, I could not decide. 61. Maybe it's wrong cutting a solitude, but you know, they usually play Metallic Rebuke. And they don't play Hammer. So it's not like... It's a matchup where we want to pitch. Yeah, I think we're going for ice. Four. Ship. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, Fred, bro. Do I think Elminster would be a fun commander? I actually played Elminster before switching to Tivit. Uh, I think Tivit is really more powerful than Cavern of Souls. No. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure. Can I be countered? So, yeah, Tivit is a better commander, but Elminster is okay, and uh, yeah, it is fun. And playing Vanilla Cysts. I think that's fine. I don't think we want a verdict though, because of the uh, Rosaf. I think we're drawing two. Then we'll just play a binding for uh, for that nil cyst. No assist or sheep. Or well, maybe we just verdict. And if we play Urza, we go binding on Urza. We're just left with a token. Uh, is my Tivit list online somewhere? Uh, not right now.
could also go binding on the nail cyst and of tone dress down this way they cannot go for equip the chip oh yeah no wait urza oh, yeah i was thinking we can go kind of spell for urza but no urza is an artificer right we have no wait there's no point delaying the verdict for a turn I don't have any. Don't have any. Mm. Yeah, human artificer. So, guess we may as well play the verdict now. Before they can equip the chip, otherwise. Yeah, it looks good. And if they go for Urza, we play binding in response. I guess I should have, yeah, maybe played binding in response on the on the nail assist. One card left. No, I think we'll let, let them have it. Do you like to play Dual Commando? Yeah, I like it. I really like playing with all the, you know, the old cards that you cannot play with anymore. Okay, sure. Guess we'll have to give them an extra card. What we can go end of turn dress down. I think that's the line. Let them have a card. See what they do. Maybe try to ambush the Sentinel. Yeah, I guess Solitude the Sentinel was another possible line. But yeah, maybe it was better actually. Grabbing Kahira, use it to pitch Solitude, kill Urza. I mean, kill Sentinel and then biting on Urza. Sword of Fire and Ice. Mm. 
well, given we have cavern of soul, there are not many things we can say no to. So I think we're going to say no here. Think. Looks like they have Vitalik Rebuke. I think we're killing the Nelicist. I think we're taking the taking the one from Urza. Next turn we can go Biding Pay plus Solitude. Well, maybe dealing with Rosa that way. Well, we have to, right? It's too annoying. Well, I think we have to make the effort of not running into Metallic Rebuke if Are recycling the typhoon thing is we don't have that many resources so we are at a high enough total though i think i like it We'll just sit back now that we have the castle. By Kahira. Maybe I should. I think is, yeah. I want to be able to play the solitude and pay for a metallic rebuke. Okay, one card left. Time Reveler. What do we think about Time Reveler? So probably good, right?
guess yeah no maybe they can make a ton of tokens Yeah, I know it was a bad play. Playing Time Reveler like that. Attacking us? Really? Hmm. Taking four. Yeah, I need to play faster too. Mm. Yeah, we need to play faster. We need to win this game and win another one after that. Yes. Can foundry. It's okay. All right. Oh, they've played the land already.
might want to kill this and probably a foundry. Uh, so, wait, we have no card. Guess we can. Yeah, let's bounce to solitude first. But wait, they have. Yeah, they can just, just bounce the Urza. Well, we can fuse on these two then. God. Do you want to play the cellist? It costs us a lot of life to play the cellist. No, I don't think we're playing it. We'll wait to turn. I don't know. Close. I'll probably want to play it. Guess can even yeah attack with a shock. Then five minutes, and that's only game two. Okay, just pass deluge. Okay, now let's just say go. I guess, yeah, I guess we can attack with a solitude. Make sure we gain three. Well, we take it. Okay. We are getting sort of meek. Damn. Hmm. Yeah, what ending shock typhoon or ending solitude? Well, we can make so much mana, we need to find an answer. Okay. Verdict. It's not good, right? No. Time Reveler. Right. Guess we can, yeah, time run work kind of works. Maybe, yeah, attack the solitude again.
Yeah, I should have played the Typhoon first, my bad. It was really bad not playing the Typhoon. Are we playing it now? No. Okay, let's play. Probably win this game. Don't have enough time to play the last one. Uh, yeah, let's take verdict. Sean, get at thirty life. Yeah, no time for game three. A rougher match of an average, you think? I don't know. I think just not playing well enough. Mm. Okay, holds pretty good. Yep. Uh, yeah, let's take the stone four. Uh, I need, need to win fast. At least we won that game. Uh, okay. Game three. So I'd bring in all the win cons. Mm. Yeah, God rest in peace.
I guess if we have something like turn for Emperor, maybe. Mm. Because if we win, yeah, in, if we want to win fast, I don't think we want Time Reveler. We get one more card, maybe Chalice, so we're going to be on the draw one. It's good in long games. Getting counter spell, you'd say. How has binding been? It's been really good, honestly. Maybe we were lucky with this challenge. I think if every time uh, I had it, it worked almost perfectly. There we go. Should I fetch right away? I'm just wasting time. What do we do? I think we kill the smith. Maybe they don't have another land. Maybe it was better to kill the drum. Needle. Mm. Oh, no, no. Yeah, it was bad well, anyway. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, game's just uh, just done. Uh, so one, two. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, the deck feels good though. I think I like the changes. Like binding number four. Yeah, I need to play with it some more, but uh, this was really great every time. I think much better than Prismatic Ending would have been. I think I still like Fire Ice as a additional removal, more than I do like Prismatic Ending. Then, down to one Chalice. And yeah, playing a couple of Moonlight and Dress Down, I think. We've only played three matches, so... I suppose we don't have enough data, but... Uh, I can't believe uh, how slow I am. Well, honestly, I think streaming doesn't help. 
Like streaming slows me down, like in real life. I'm not not in real life, but when I play off stream, I just never time out, almost never. So. Mm. Yeah, and down to three typhoon with the hull. Need to play with, with the hull some some more. That's for one change. But uh, as we have one change, I'm the, the change I'm the less convinced with. Uh, Zag of Trium was good though, and probably it makes sense with full binding. Now, do we want the headquarters as well? I think it's nice that it gives you a way to complete Steam Dance when you have it, and you know more ways to. Well, it makes just makes binding more solid. Like if we did not play headquarters, we'd play. I think third Mystic Gate. Sorry, we weigh you down. <laughs> and sideboard, well, we haven't played enough to, uh, to really want to change anything. Maybe the Emperor is a bit suspicious, but I thought that Yeah, well, one of the best way to fight for color. And uh, yeah, a card that can be brought in, in in plenty of matchups, actually. Did I drop? Yeah, I did. Went 1-2, one, lost run one against Infect. Played badly, game three. And lost uh, round three to timeout. Cannot figure out the lane balance for this. Yeah, it's not easy. Mm. I mean, my reasoning is well, if you're playing binding, you won't be playing. Well, you have the incentive to play as many lands as possible that can, you know, that have basic land types different basic land types, so you want to to have the best ability to complete the domain. So that's one thing, but at the same time, you know, you don't want to play too many fetch lands. Because, well, because at some point life matters or too, too many lands that come into play tapped. So that's another incentive you have, and then you want to play some value lands so it makes sense to play here yeah, with four bindings the value lands as, as one of so one castle and one of each hall this uh this second hall may be uh, maybe too cute then yeah three island one planes and after that i think 10 fetch lands like i have here and well top Couple of Fontaine is obvious, so yeah, 10 fetch lands. I think I have to play Robin Trion because I'm playing Fire Ice, so you know, there are some, um, some openers where you only have one fetch lands and you want to be able to fix your three colors at once. And then for this reason, Fire Ice, you also want a Steam Dance. And after that, I think Zag of Trium is really. Yeah, it's good enough that you want to play it so that you can have it complete the domain with two fetch lands. And after that, yeah, Mystic Gate is really great. And that's where it comes into play the fact that I don't want to play all Triumphs, fetch land, shock land, you know, 10 shock lands, three coming to play tap lands. I think that's. Well, that's the point where I'm saying uh, that's enough, and so to Mystic Gate to finish it off. And uh, yeah, the headquarters is a, just an extra trium. Mm. 
can I share a stone blade list I've been working on? Sure, sure. Ship it. Uh, what are your thoughts on the days and doing package in the board for blue white days and doing package? Mm, that feels wrong because well, first of all, it's going to take so much space. So if you're dedicating so much space to it, you better, you know, you better make it work in multiple matchups. And I, I just don't see it being good enough. Doesn't seem worth it to me, but, but I certainly building an no set days and doing lists you know main deck i think leland binding is uh is making our set better because yeah hit, hitting binding of no set and being able to play it from one to kill anything it's much better than hitting ending so binding made no set better But uh, it doesn't make sense to me to have uh, an asset days and doing plan in the sideboard. Yeah, main deck or not at all. Four slots. One asset main, two in the board and two days and doing. Thing is, the fact that it's it's not legacy, what days and doing is a uh, force of will folder. So drawing it without an asset. Feels pretty bad. And once again, where, where is it going to be good? If it's. It feels to me like you're going. You, you're making too many efforts just so you want to make your four color matchup somehow positive. And uh, the sacrifices you make, but the other cards you're not playing, I think you're losing way too much across the board just to make your four color matchup. Yeah, I'd say if you want to play no set days and doing play, play it in the main deck. Uh, okay, stone blade list. Mm. Okay, I've never, yeah, I'm not a fan of salty, but I guess with Stone Forge it makes more sense. Oh no, just a battle skill on the Caldera, yeah, no. Oh no, there's no, that's that's in the sideboard. A sword of War and Peace, no sword of Fire and Ice. Mm. I suppose, yeah, these two are probably... I haven't played enough Stoneforge to know if you would want any sword in the main deck, so yeah, one battle skill on Caldera makes sense. Uh... Probably, yeah, no, then yeah, subtlety. I'm just not a fan of main deck subtlety. So, yeah, I'm not sure I would want to be playing that. And then, yeah, you have a mana base that can cast, that is built to cast Arc Maze's Charm, and somehow you're not playing it. it looks suspicious. <laughs> why would you, why would you not play Arc Maze's Charm? And if you're not, I think you won the second planes. Possibly a Ganjo, I mean, yeah, it looks like you took a mana base from it. A... 
yeah, you could be playing at least, I don't know, either second planes or or castle or Arden Vale or But I think I would I would play Alchemy Charm. But I guess yeah you decided to play a Pierce and Force of Negation. Not sure I'm a fan of playing spell pierce in uh when you're playing Stone Forge, but it's kind of a, you know your regular blue white shell. Meaning your deck is not fast enough that but you know Pierce is gonna be that you can put enough pressure on your opponent for them to run into Pierce and the way they're gonna win games, they're gonna You know, you're gonna have to go into the mid game. It's gonna take some time, so Pierce is gonna be a dead draw in the mid game. Yeah, I'm not sure that Pierce is is where you wanna be. So sus suspicious, but you don't have Archimedes charm. I think I would go with four binding, given. Uh, How great I found the card. And yeah, Force of Negation. I'm not a fan of Force of Negation as well. In that format. Yeah, I would say probably it would have better results with Playing four copies of Alchemy Charm and go maybe one PS one force. Yeah, solo team. Not a big fan, and maybe play fourth binding instead of third ending. Maybe play a bit more fetch lands. How many fetch lands do you have? Four, four, seven. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm playing ten. I think. I mean, seven or eight fetch lands was what you, what you were playing before you had the land binding. But I think at least only seven fetch lands. It has to be better to play an extra fetch land instead of the third mystic gate. Like a fetch land in your opener can be all the difference between binding being great or binding being really poor. Hey, Billy Watkins. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Looking at the current list and wondering how do we ever beat full color with this? Uh, well. It's not a good matchup, but you know, it's magic, so sometimes sometimes they're gonna have trouble with their mana, sometimes they're gonna flood. I think it's not as bad as people making make it out to be. I think a four color matchup is better than the Tron matchup, for example. Don't you have random blue-black control list for modern floating around? Oh no, it's been a long time since I've played blue-black in modern. Something here, but that's really outdated. Not even sure it's... What is it? Yeah, I made a try with 10 to the indulgence. No, that was bad. Okay, uh, well, 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 uh, well, that's gonna be it for me today then. Um, well, I still had some interesting games. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Felt that Archimedes Charm was slow. Class she's with Stone Forge on turn three. Yeah. 
I mean, when you play Stoneforge Mystic on turn two, I mean, it's a good thing that you have another instant in your hand, so you can have two options on turn three, right? Either play your equipment or play the charm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't see it as clashes with Stoneforge Mystic. More, I would say more that. No, it gives you options. It's not a bad thing. But uh, yeah, you play. Yeah, play it how you feel it. That's the most important thing. If you think, uh, if you think it's better, or it may be better to play it in a certain way. Just try it and see how it goes. Okay, so yeah, one, two. Mm. Sad end, especially with a mistake on uh, match one and a timeout on match three. Uh, well, let's, uh, let's just raid someone. Who do we have? Mm. Well, can he start playing the modern challenge with creativity? Yeah, let's raid canister. Okay. I'll have a challenge tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Uh, I think I may be playing the, the pioneer super qualifier, but, uh, if so, I'll play, I'll play it off stream. So probably next weekend. Okay. Let's red canister. Okay. Well, I wish you all uh, a good rest of your day and uh, yeah, you take care.